My guess is you clicked on this video because your toms just aren't sounding awesome yet. So here's what I want you to do. Watch my cool intro. Then I want you to pause this video. Then I want you to go get your floor tom and one of your rack toms, maybe a 12 inch or something, and a drum kit. And then meet me back here because we're gonna fix your toms together right now. So if you've been following this channel for a long time, then you've probably seen my original tuning video, Tom tuning video that I posted a long time ago. I had a really cheap camera and uh, I shot it right there, like right beside where, the, where my tripod is sitting. Very budget, but to the point. And the whole idea of it was to demystify tuning because there were so many videos out there just turned it into rocket science. It was kind of bugging me. So I decided to um, do my own little video to show you how easy it is. So this is an updated version of that video. You can check that out after watching this one, just for kicks if you want. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the updated version. We're going to do this workshop style. So the point of it is to have us tuning together. That's why I wanted, wanted you to grab your drums, man, because we're going to do it at the same time, and you're going to see just how easy it is. All right, so are you ready to go? Let's do the floor tom first, because since the first video, a lot of people have been asking, because I did the demonstration on a 10 and a 12 inch, they were asking if you do the floor tom the same way. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's the exact same method. So, let's do this. We got a 16 inch floor tom here. If you got a 14 in front of you, it doesn't make any difference. Same thing. This is completely dead, all right? Bottom head and the top head, completely dead. The heads I have on this tom, I got an Evans UV1 on the, uh, on the top, and I got a Rezo 7 on the bottom. So here's how it goes, man. Drum key, one hand, palm in the other. Follow me on this, okay? You ready to go? Here we go. Take your palm, press down on the center of the head like that. Apply constant pressure on, uh, on the center of this head. As soon as you press down, whether you got a um, coated head or a clear head or whatever, just press down. As soon as you do that, you're gonna see wrinkles. There are wrinkles all around, all right? Here's what you're gonna do. Take your drum key. Pick any one of these tension rods that you want. I'm gonna choose this one, because I like it. And all we're gonna do, man, while you're, press, er, while you're uh, pressing down on the, on the center, turn that drum key until the wrinkles in front of that tension rod disappear and that's it. You're done. You're going to do that with each one of these all the way around. And it doesn't matter which way you go. You can go clockwise. You can go counterclockwise. You can go any, mini miny, mo. It doesn't make any difference because they're all going to end up in the same spot. All right? So we did that one. Just choose another one. And I'm just going to go all the way around just for the sake of it. And I'm just going to turn it until the wrinkles disappear. And that's it. So hopefully you're doing this at the same time as me, just so you can see how simple it is. And then that one there. Looks pretty smooth to me. Guess what? That's done. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing with the resonant. Press down, see all those gorgeous wrinkles? 
and just turn them rods until they go away. And the reason why I wanted to do this one, especially workshop styles, is because you really need to see how simple this is. The one thing that I do not want you to do, for heaven's sakes, man, do not overthink this. This is not rocket science. And that's done. Now watch this. Hopefully you got a drumstick handy. So we did the top, we did the bottom. I can hear it kind of singing already. Grab me a stick. And here we go. Sounds like a floor tom to me. Now, if I wanted to tune it higher or lower, that's another common question. Um, if you wanted to move the tuning, the best way to do it, this is, this is all I do, pick two tension rods, one on the top and the opposite one on the bottom, all right? And all you're gonna do, like say I wanted this tuned even lower than that. All I'm gonna do is just take one, back it off, maybe a quarter turn, and do the same thing underneath. Boom. That's it. You are now a tuning ninja. So that's done. Let's grab your 12 inch and do the same thing. The method is exactly the same. All right. Um, same thing. Completely loose on both sides. So if you just change heads or something, you just get them on there finger tight on, uh, on both sides, all the way around, and you're ready to start, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Press down on that center. What this does is it really just kind of helps to center the, um, the head on the hoop. When you do that, keep that pressure on there. See those wrinkles? And then turn them until they disappear, man. There's no humming happening here. There's no tapping for notes, nothing like that. That's all completely unnecessary. Flip it over, do the same thing. Now you can do it if you, I'm not saying it's wrong. You can do that if you want. Um, there's a lot of, uh, for whatever reason, man, there's a lot of drummers out there that insist on making this complicated. That's cool for you, man. I'm just here to show you that you don't have to. I'm here talking to you and doing this at the same time. I'm not even concentrating. And check this out. I can hear it singing already. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Grab the stick. You know what I'm saying? So what this method actually does, and the reason why it works, is because effectively what you're doing is you're putting the top head and the bottom head, you're putting the shell overall on the lowest possible pitch of that shell. So you're putting it right at the bottom of that tuning range. Both heads are kind of moving at the same time, and that's sort of low range, and that's what gives you the fullness. That's why it sounds so, so round and full and, uh, and, and resonant. So this is just sort of like a general use, general purpose tuning. There are some situations like if you're in a studio or actually even in um, quite a few live settings where you know, your drums are in a theater or something like that, and you don't necessarily want them ringing out so much. 
then, first of all, don't let me see you grab duct tape and cake up your heads with that stuff, all right? There are better ways to do it. Use gels or, you know, get yourself a, a dot or a drum tack or something. Just use clean methods of uh, muffling your toms just to cut down a little bit of that unwanted ring for those situations. I mean, your drums sound gorgeous, but if a sound guy asks you to sort of tighten them up, try not to get offended. It's really just for the mics, and, you know, they don't want them sort of fading into each other like that, right? So they, they would rather you kind of suck them in a little bit, keep the sustain nice and short. They can still be round and sound good, but, um, but you'll have to just sort of trust your sound guy there. But yeah, there's no, there's no need to cake your drums up with tape. It just ruins your heads that way. And if you got certain coated heads on there, when you pull that tape off, some of the coating is going to come with it. You know what I mean? So just use a clean method of muffling. Moon gels, drum tacks, drum dots, whatever. Now there's going to be a lot of hardcore experts saying that this is actually the wrong way to do it. And that's fine. I mean, you can tune your toms however you want. But for me, man, the proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I make you a, a grilled cheese sandwich and you take a bite, you tell me it's awesome and then tell me I made it wrong. It's the same thing. So this is not necessarily about creating a shortcut to tuning. It's just a shorter way that works. You get a, the exact same result when you get to the end of it. So that's it, my friends. That's, that's about all you need to know about tuning your toms. There are thousands of drummers that watch the original video and have been tuning their toms this way ever since. And they will tell you themselves, man, if you're one of them, by the way, if you're one of those drummers that have been tuning this way since the first video, drop a comment and just let people know that this works. Remember, there's a lot of science and precision that goes in to making a drum. But by the time it gets to our house, you hit it with a stick. Thanks for watching this video. If it's helped you out, I need you to share it 1,000 times. Just do me a solid and share it at least once, 1,000 if you want. But every time you share this video, man, you help me pay the bills. So do me that little favor. If this worked out for you and you're happy, just share it. Let people know this is how you can tune your drums. Nice and quick, less tuning, more playing. That's it for me, man. I'm out. Like, subscribe. See you next video.